Dr. McDonald, thanks for talking to me this evening. Good evening. Um, what's your stance on all of this? Should Tusk be meeting with the Irish Prime Minister on this issue? It's not going to be good for ne negotiations between the UK and the EU, is it? Well, the point is we have to go back to basics, and the basics are that the Brexit vote was a disaster for Britain and for the European Union. Uh, and there's some, the, 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 there were people voted to, 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 uh, in favour of leaving uh, that perhaps would have second thoughts today when they see the serious damage that's been done. But the government, I think, had a duty to take a much more collective and pragmatic view after the vote instead of plunging on over the cliff. Uh, Brexit will ensure that everybody in the, European, in the U UK will be a couple of thousand pounds at least worse off between raising prices, raising prices and, and lower wages. And that, that is very damaging for all. The DUP threats that you refer to there are just bluff and bullying because if they bring down the government, uh, they will lose their influence. Yeah. Uh, the, issue we, the issue we have here in all of this is that Northern Ireland voted to remain in the European Union because Europe has been good for us and has helped lay the foundations for our peace settlement, lay, lay set the backdrop for the peace settlement. And the, the Brexit issue is destabilising the politics of Northern Ireland. The Northern Ireland politics were very fragile. And, and basically, we had an executive and assembly, assembly and executive set up, but the vote, Brexit vote has directly and indirectly led to the collapse of our executive. Um, and that's very bad for us. This, looks, this issue looks like it could stall talks, but if talks are stalled and it results in Britain crashing out of the EU with no deal, then that would result in a hard border for sure, wouldn't it? Well, it would result in a hard border, and the, the problem is this, this is not people being awkward or difficult. And I, I personally resent the, 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 the personal slurs and attacks on, on the Irish Taoiseach, the Irish Prime Minister, and indeed on Simon Coveney, the Minister for Foreign Affairs, because these guys have been working for months, and indeed since the referendum, trying to ensure that peace and stability remains in this island and that the trade links that we have are sustained. We have something like 40,000 people each day crossing the border. And now this is a border that runs across, not an accurate border, it runs across the middle of the island of Ireland. And people cross from the north to the south and from the north, south to the north to work. And that has emerged over the last 25, 30 years and as our economies have merged because it's a small island, there's only five and a half, six million people on it. And we need to try and maximise whatever assets we have. And in um, that... Dr McDonald, people, people... I'm sorry to interrupt, but we are running out of time. I just want to ask you one more question. This is all almost immaterial, isn't it? Tusk has said that the EU is behind Ireland, calling for no hard border. Theresa May said in her Florence speech that the UK and the EU are in agreement. There won't be a hard border. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants a hard border, yet the very act of seeking divorce, Britain seeking divorce from the European Union, creates something that's going to be like a hard border because you can't control the movement of people without having checkpoints and you can't control the movement of goods. And that's why they talk about staying within the customs union and all the rest so that goods could fr flow more freely. This is a big, big threat to, to business and to productivity and, and to m manufacturing on both sides of the Irish border. OK. Dr Alison MacDonald, thank you very much. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you for your time.